Hi guys, uh, in the previous video we learned how to move the attachment files uh, into the WordPress upload directory and in this video we're going to learn how to save the attachment links to the WordPress database because uh, we need to have the uh, URL uh, which is basically the path uh, up until the uploads directory for that particular attachment and we need to save that into the WordPress database in form of uh, posts. Uh, okay, so if you have ever checked WordPress database uh, the attachments that you create uh, you know get saved as uh, uh, post itself and uh, then they have the parent post and that's how you get the uh, retrieve the attachments basically uh, when you want to display them so let's begin so coming back from where we left uh, just to recap uh, what we discussed in the last video so we call this function WP handle uh, profile media which is our custom function and this function basically is checking if the dollar underscore files exist and it is not empty and if the user has uploaded files into it then call our custom function uh, which is basically going to check if it is the right size and, and the right extension uh, you know uh, then go ahead and uh, call another custom function which is WP move attached to upload directory and this function basically is going to call the WordPress function WP handle upload which will go ahead and move the uh, attachments into the WordPress upload directory uh, once that is done uh, it's going to return the move file uh, which is basically going to let us know whether it's an error or it's success so what do we get uh, in the inserted file object we're going to use that uh, to get the file path so let's see what we get inside of this insert file object which is basically nothing but the move file object so I'm going to just go ahead and print move file object over here to see what we're getting and we'll just do print our okay so let's see I don't think it's going to give me that just yet because there's a return on top so I'll have to do that slightly above this so probably at this point okay so let's see so refresh the page so you can see that uh, basically the uh, move file object is giving me the file uh, path which is basically the path on my local computer up until uh, this particular image that I uploaded then it's giving me the URL also uh, for this particular um, file that I've just moved into the uploads directory let me just zoom in yeah so this is the path uh, local path this is the URL and it's also giving me the type so what I'm interested in knowing is basically the uh, the file path uh, from the local directory so let's go ahead and check that let's get rid of this so basically this function is going to return me the move file and we're going to store the move file into inserted file um, object and we're going to access the file property of that so file property is nothing but this uh, you know local path uh, absolute path you know so we'll get the file, file path once we get the file path uh, then we're going to check if the file path is not empty which means that uh, you know if it's been uploaded successfully only then we're going to get this um, object giving us the the file name which is the absolute path and uh, not the file name but the absolute path of that particular file okay which is basically this this one okay this one the first one once we have that if it's not empty then what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and uh, get the profile attachment post ID okay um, so over here we are checking okay why why do we have phone over here sorry don't need the phone okay we're checking get user meta user profile image post ID so basically the same uh, you know logic that we had applied last time that uh, whenever we get the attachment post ID for that particular uh, uh, 
uh, you know attachment that's been inserted into database will store that information into a meta key so that we can use it later so the very first time this code is executed obviously this will not have any data because none of the meta key for this particular attachment ID would have been created in the user meta so this will uh, not really give me anything uh, this is basically uh, a WordPress function WP delete post to delete a particular post why we're deleting it is because uh, in case of the second time the user is uploading another image we don't want to just keep adding image into the database we need to first you know clean the data uh, base uh, by deleting the previous uh, image that he had uploaded and only then upload the uh, new one because obviously he can't have um, you know multiple uh, profile images uh, he can probably we will allow him to just have one profile image for him uh, under this situation okay great <clears throat> and then go ahead and delete the previous one uh, and once that is done we have created another custom function WP update post with attachment so I'm just going to copy that <clears throat> to save time and this is where we're going to go ahead and save that uh, you know create a basically create post attachment so I'm just going to define that right above this <clears throat> So let's see what's happening inside of it. So inside of this function, basically, um, okay, let's get rid of this. We don't need that. Is accepting the file name. So we've already got the file name, uh, which is nothing but the uh, this one. Uh, no, not this one. Sorry. One second. Yeah, file name is nothing but the file path. Okay. So it's basically the absolute file path. Okay. <clears throat> then the uh, and it's written over here, file name should be the path to the file in the upload directory. Okay. Uh, then the post ID. So we've already got the post ID over here. If you check, we have passed the post ID into this function down at the bottom. And we got the post ID because we created a particular post for that particular user. So you've got the post ID. So we're saying the parent post ID will be equal to post ID, post ID because remember that uh, when we're going to create a post for this particular attachment, we want to set the parent post as the post create for this particular user. Only then if we want to display the image uh, in the front end later on for this particular user, we will have some link to this attachment and this will tell us, okay, so this is this attachment post is related to the parent post which is belonging to that particular user. Okay, so if you go to the database under WP post <coughs> and there is a section called parent post somewhere here, post parent, this one right here. So you can see that for example, this is post parent post is 96. That's how the linking happens between the two. <coughs> now these are the WordPress predefined functions. So WP check file type is going to check if the file type is uh, is correct okay uh, okay so basically it's going to return the file type out of out of this particular uh, absolute path so since we have an absolute path over here which is this one and that's what's stored inside of the file and that's what we're passing here uh, this is going to give us the file uh, type so let's say in this case PNG let's say mime type I think yeah mime type probably uh, let's just echo out to see what we get here refresh the page okay it's not allowing me to echo it so I'll have to pr print it so it's a pre and file type save it refresh <coughs> yep so you can see that it's giving me the extension as JPEG and it's also giving me the type as image JPEG yep Great. So then we're going to use the uh, WP upload directory function uh, get the to get the path up until the uploads directory. So this is going to get me the path up until the uploads directory. So if I just do this, save it, refresh the page. Again, it's an object. It seems ordinary, probably. WP 
upload directory. Let's see that what we get. Okay, so it's going to give me the path, URLs, subdirectory, base, base URL, and things like that. So this is basically going to give me the path up until the uploads directory. Okay, so we got that inside of this object. Then we're going to use the WP insert attachment function, which is a WordPress function basically. And uh, the job of this function is to insert the attachment. So in the attachment, uh, we will pass an array of arguments. Okay, so if we go to WordPress codex, insert. So how you do insert post, similarly you do insert attachment, which also creates a post for that particular attachment. My battery is about to die, so I need to finish it quickly, and it's almost 1, 11 a.m. I need to sleep as well. Okay, so the job of this function is basically to insert the attachment into the media library, basically create a post into the database. It accepts attachment, file name, parent post ID, just to create a connection. And it takes an array of attachment is an array of arguments that you pass. Uh, so guys, uh, this is basically the page uh, which I have used to go ahead and insert the attachment. You can take this link, help with English. And that's what all is going on over here. This is the same thing I'm doing here as well. Okay, so WP insert attachment is going to take attachment, which is the array of arguments. It will take GUID, which is WP upload directory, this one URL. Uh, because remember, when we printed this, we got the URL um, as this one, and that's what we're passing over here. And then base name, file name, file name is nothing but the absolute path uh, of our file. Post MIME type, file type type so type remember we got the type as somewhere something like that uh, you know f uh, so we had the file type when we printed this so that's fine so when we printed this thing a post title okay so we're going to use all of that as a post title and post content nothing post status inherit uh, at this point we are checking this condition is because remember we are dealing with two type of profile pictures uh, sorry two type of picture attachments one is the work attachments and one is profile picture so when we are calling this function uh, down at the bottom <coughs> we are passing an additional parameter to distinguish between whether it's a profile pic that we want or the work attachment so that's why that condition is being checked over here if it's a profile pic then go ahead and get me the attach ID and insert it and uh, the reason for checking this is because remember we want separate user meta key for these um, you know uh, profile pick and work attachment that's the only way to distinguish between them hence uh, we're using this function to uh, insert this into the database uh, insert this post of attachment type into database and then we are using our WP insert update user meta function which is our custom function that I've explained to you in my first or second video uh, this function job of this function is to insert a particular meta key and the meta value into database and if it already exists just go ahead and update that so coming back over here so it's going to create a new meta key user profile image post id and it's going to pass the uh, image id into it uh, now in the second condition again only the name is different hence uh, the condition is being che checked so it will insert the attachment into the database in form of a post and it will also update the user meta or create a user meta uh, depending on what the situation is and we will also need to include the image.php file make sure this file is included as the WP generate attachment metadata depends on it okay so that's what happens for the first one for the first file type and same thing happens for the second file type also so I'll just uncomment it out so we can just put it there okay uh, just one last thing guys uh, is that use the unlink um, function PHP function and with the file path is uh, absolute path to that particular file in the upload directory in case if the previous uh, you know file in the upload directory is not getting deleted I believe it should happen it should work but just in case worst case scenario if it doesn't work uh, you know if you need to delete the previous uh, file that's being uploaded and then uh, upload the new one then just use this function but for now just ignore it this is only in case if there's some error happens okay for now we shouldn't get any so that's fine 
Cool. So let's go ahead and try it. I think we have done everything. Is there anything else we need to do? No, there's a lot we've done, I know. Even uh, it, I really had to bang my head. There was not much information available. Even if there was, there was broken information, half bit here, half bit there. I really had to bang my head to get this on. So I decided that, you know, I will go ahead and make a video out of this. So that, you know, uh, people don't have to worry about it. And they can just, there needs to be someone to explain it if I've invested so much, so much time into it. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and um, select a file. I want to go ahead and select Imran JPEG. And I want to select, let's say, I don't have many images. Let's say I want to do this um, down arrow. Okay, so Imran and down arrow, submit it. Submit it. And let's check our upload folder. So obviously it has come over here. Down arrow is here. Imran JPEG is here. And idly, because we have used the WP insert attachment uh, function over here, it should have created the post for me. Refresh the page. <coughs> And sure enough, you can see that you've got the Imran. Why Imran 2 is because there was an Imran image already existing. Uh, and down at a 1, why 1? Because there was a down arrow image already existing earlier. So these are the two posts that has been created uh, because uh, we have used the WP insert attachment function uh, to insert this post into the database. And uh, because we have set the parent ID to the uh, user's uh, ID, which is this one so this is post is equal to 96 if you look at the bottom when i hover over it it's post 96 so that's the parent post id for this particular user remember we had created this particular post id um over here using this function and we've got the post id so that's the post id we're using uh, to create a link between the attachment and if you check post parent is 96 because 96 is the post ID for this particular user that we have created so next time if you want to display <coughs> this particular user uh, profile or or the work attachment we can do that using the parent post ID yep cool right uh, so we've got this uh, the next thing we were doing um, over here after inserting the attachment is also updating the user creating a user meta key uh, user profile image post ID and work image post ID and setting the attachment ID to it so attachment ID is nothing but the post ID for these attachment which is 104 and 105 so ideally if you go to user meta and if you check over here go right hand side you'll see that the user profile is 104 and 105 so pro user profile image post ID which is basically this meta key and user work image post ID which is basically this meta key <coughs> okay the reason we are why we are updating the meta key as well is because remember if if the user goes over here and next time he goes and changes something let's say now it selects curtains and he selects this one <coughs> saves it so what should actually happen is that uh, we will come over here we will delete the post remember we have to delete this post we've got the parent post uh, sorry the attachment ID for this particular uh, uh, post so 104 and 105 was there in the database remember this one these two so we need to <coughs> delete it and we also need to update the um, user meta so if you refresh the page you will notice that it's been updated to the new one now it's six and seven and the four and five one zero four and five would have been deleted by now <coughs> you can see one zero four and one zero five are no longer there now we have curtains and mamish over here yeah great i know it's a bit complicated but if you re-watch my video you'll be able to understand things clearly <coughs> You have my code, uh, you know, mentioned on my GitHub, uh, you know, account. You can always take it from there. And uh, last but not the least, uh, we will learn uh, how to display that information on the front end. I think we can do that in the next video. It's too long. Yep. See you then.